Hello, my name is Evelyn. Welcome back to my Let's Play Europa Uver Universalis 4. Playing as Naj, trying to get the Jihad achievement. Where we left off last time, the Mamluks had attacked us, and there really wasn't any way around it being so small. We weren't going to be able to defend ourselves. So I'm starting over here to see if we can get a little bit better of a start. I'm going to start the same way I did last time, so I'm just going to get started setting that up building our army um, this time it's Yemen that is friendly towards us which is probably a good thing they're going to be kind of in between these two which may kind of help separate so they won't gang up on us hopefully Nassas won't ally with anybody and also, I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on the Ottomans to try and tour the Mamluks, which unfortunately are already domineering towards us. Not very good sign. They may attack us very, very soon. Let's go ahead and take our national decisions. Let's take the Form Alliance with Yemen mission. I will be doing that very, very shortly. In fact, I could probably Yes, I can already do that. Let's just do that. I'm going to start fabricating a claim here to take it as soon as I can to establish a foothold. And let's start converting. Also, what I'm going to do is when I'm converting over here, just to get rid of this revolt risk, which I can't really handle earlier in the game, I'm going to go ahead and harsh treatment. It's fairly cheap, and it may save us a lot of troops. So let's rival the other two countries besides Yemen. Let's go ahead and select to get military power. Again, because of the ID group I want, I'm not in a rush to get it and I'd rather just have the military tech for the early fights that we're going to be getting into. Don't have enough money for an advisor. I'm going to lower maintenance though to see if I can get some early votes. And that sets us up. There's our first mission already. And royal marriage with Yemen. Yes, please. I won't be able to do that right away. I have to wait 30 days before I can have another diplomatic action with them. Let's see, December 12th. I was kind of hoping they would offer. Oh, there it is. There's our royal marriage. And let's see what else we can get before we start improving relations. Rival of a threat, Ottomans. Yes, that is exactly what I want. So let's improve. Start by improving relations here because they're not going to be able to get into a royal marriage right off the bat. But fairly soon, I will be able to, and hopefully, I'll be able to get an alliance if they flip from a neutral attitude. I will be able to do that. Right, no alliances yet, so I'm going to want to, as soon as this is ready, I'm going to want to declare war. Let's go ahead and build our boat. One more bark, and get these troops together. Where are we at? Only 40%. see what else is going on. They are allied with Omen and that's not good. That's a pretty big power block. So it's us two versus them two. We've got them separated. That's a good thing. And 
And if I can get into an early war with them, it's a little bit more power for me. We should be fine. There's my boat. Let's take them here. Merge. And patrol. And let's raise our maintenance, because we will be declaring war shortly. Let's see how the Ottomans are doing. Maybe I can get a royal marriage with them before I declare war. Where's the alliance? I can. So let's royal marry. Give, give me a chance to get my morale up here while I'm waiting on that diplomat. Let's declare war. And they will not join me here, but that's okay. I don't really need them. And one more month or so, and my maintenance will be up good enough. I won that. And there we go. That's pretty much the war. Now all I need to do, I can lower my maintenance here. So I'm not wasting a bunch of money. I'm going to detach the damaged boats. Put the other two right out here to blockade. Give me a higher percent chance to win the siege. my first conversion. So I'm just going to move right along to this one, convert, and same thing, harsh treatment. And I have a free diplomat now. Let's see how close to alliance we are here. I hope I can get that. It doesn't look like it's very likely. I'm going to go ahead and start improving relations here just to top them up. I should maybe be improving relations here since they're not domineering anymore. I could probably you know, deter them from attacking me a little bit more. And this is not a very good choice. I don't like to spend administrative power. 30 legitimacy. It's a lot of revolt risk. A little bit of diplomatic reputa reputation. Let's just take the legitimacy hit. That's fine. My king's old and he'll die soon, which will reset this legitimacy anyway. Just kind of waiting for this to take up. Am I getting any closer here? Uh, let's lose piety. Offer alliance. Not really getting there. That's unfortunate. I'm really just waiting for the siege to start or finish. I mean, now that the walls are breached, I'm going to go ahead and start protecting trade again. Get a little bit more income. 
And of course, the second I do that, he sends boats. So now they have to repair. And there we go. There's that War One. Let's take this guy back. He's closest. Full annexation. Done. Fine. Start making a core. I'm going to leave my guy there, but I am going to raise the maintenance a little bit just in case he does rebel. Speaking of which, I do need to harsh treatment get that down as much as possible. It's still a very high revolt risk, higher than I'd like. But one thing I can do, I should have a little bit more force limit, so I'm going to grab another infantry. And a free diplomat. Let's look up here one more time, see if anything's changing. This is not... And this time I'm not going to harsh treatment though. There we go. Got the mission without the alliance. That's fine. And I could get a claim on this province or this province. Neither of which I'm very happy to be attacking right now. So I'm going to just take the Religious Unity mission so I don't miss out on it. And with my free Diplomat, I'm going to start improving relations with the Mamluks. See what we can do there. I'm going to have another free Diplomat very soon. which means I'm going to start hmm. start fabricating a claim on one of these two I have them both rivaled I could rival just to get a third rival these guys Mm -hmm. Who has you rivaled? Nobody that I care about. Not sure I want to rival them at all. They're pretty strong. I don't want to tempt them into attacking me anymore. And they already are. So I'm going to avoid that for now. There, I got my claim on Medina. Very good. So now I just need to fabricate a claim on Oman, so I have my choice. Now I just kind of set and hope nobody attacks me for now. Which means I probably should be improving relations instead of... Hmm, this isn't a good choice. I'm going to have to take the inflation. Since I'm not in a hurry for admin, I'm going to go ahead and buy it down now too. So that I could, because I'm going to be buying some more boats and stuff. And I don't want to pay extra for them. There's my core. That should lower the revolt risk a little bit. Not much. Let's see. Golden Horde. Nothing I can do there. What am I looking at? Let's see. Still really far away from 
that. There's my next conversion. Send. No, I'm going to send to Kortar. I don't really want to raise the revolt risk in Alhasa any more than I have to right now. Convert it last. There's that. Also going to improve relations here. And get my royal marriage with the Mamluks. Try and deter them as much as possible. Also I'm going to improve relations here. Again, do whatever I can to deter being attacked until I can get a little bit of a foothold here. And now that I have enough money for that, I'm going to get another bark. This part I'm just kind of waiting for an opportunity. Tichaz is. Ooh, that's not good. Allied with the Mamluks. Still no chance for an alliance with them. All right, let's see. Maybe get an alliance with one of these. Might be a little helpful. Be a few troops at least. Oh my gosh, again. Let's grab that while we're at it. And I'm going to go ahead and start improving relations. Might be able to grab a protectorate when I get Yo uh, Yemen. Alright, one more conversion. Very high revolt risk here. Get my boats protecting trade. Since this is such a high revolt risk, I don't really feel like keeping troops here doesn't really deter them that much. So I think I'm going to have to raise my maintenance all the way up and hopefully that'll be enough. I'm going to give them a leader as well. Now I'm just going to kind of wait, maybe get my next technology military technology and hopefully get an opportunity to do something here in a little while without anybody attacking me too much. Just going to pass around my improved relations. Trying to get everybody nice and friendly. Speaking of which, I probably ought to improve with them too when I have the opportunity. I'm going to focus on them over at all. There's my religious unity. This wants me to get the Golden Horde friendly. 
Not sure that's really worthwhile. They're pretty far away. Could prove legitimacy. Uh, this should probably happen when my king dies. Any minute. But if it doesn't, then I could get stuck with this mission for a long time. But I'm going to go ahead and take it. Was I able to get an alliance with them? Might be able to. Just a couple of ticks of improved relation. Not much. It's going to be close. But up, there we go. And there's my legitimacy back. Or close to, at least. So hopefully I get that soon. Let's lose some more piety. Let's see how that's doing. Negative 23. All right. I have no revolt risk here now. So I'm going to go ahead and lower my maintenance here. Let's move them off there just in case, because as soon as that harsh treatment comes up, it will have some revolt risk. Pretty high nationalism. My stability's down, but I should be able to afford to raise it up now. Yeah, it's only 100. I'm going to raise it up to plus one. And that should help the revolt risk even more. Alright, well, we're kind of in a stalemate in this region, especially with the Mamluks in there. I declare war on them. I should only get them, which means that the Mamluks won't come in. So, that should maybe be what I do. Don't have any more force limit. making some money I might be able to get some mercenaries no more naval force limit either some of these royal marriages. I think the Ottomans in Yemen. Where oh, I'm already already am. so close to an alliance. If I just get everything there, they're really far away. What about over here? Yeah, it's really far away. Let's go ahead and Royal Mary here. Improve relations there. Should I declare war? Seven? Yeah, that's going to be a tough war. I'm going to go ahead and improve relations here. I had to wait for my military technology, which should be close. I'm going to take the revolt risk instead of the prestige hit. I don't really want to go into negative prestige. And if I can get an alliance, this is it. There we go. All right. Alright, 
so not much else to do here. I need to figure out if I can attack them or not. There's my technology. And we're at four, which should be ahead of them. They're three. They're three. Just in case, they're three. Hmm. They're also three. Could start building manpower buildings too. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and build a manpower building here. And it's time for a cut. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.